Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is another NYC vlog. I don't know about you, but I feel like every time I start a new week, I feel like time is going by so fast. Like, I just looked at the calendar and today, and it's February 17th. Like, where is the time going? I wish someone told me because I can't believe it's almost March. So, anyway, I started getting ready and doing my makeup because I'm actually headed to a fun New York staycation one night in a New York City hotel. And I'm excited because it is the Motto in Chelsea, which is a more budget-friendly hotel. A little bit more about the hotel stay. I was invited by the Motto Chelsea to spend a night and see what it's like. It's newly opened, so I saw some photos of the rooms. The rooms look really, really nice. And the great thing about the Motto Chelsea is that it's a more budget-friendly hotel in New York. So if you are trying to stay in New York and looking for hotel options, this might be a really great option. And it's really centrally located. It's on 24th Street, so it's right by Chelsea and Madison Square Park where we were last week in my vlog, basically right in that area. So it's a really great option. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm about to get in the Uber. But before I head there, I wanna share with you some packages that I did receive this week because I wanna wear one tonight. So let me show you what I got. This first package is from Victor and Rolf. And on Valentine's Day, they sent over their very new, ooh, fragrance. <laughs> it is the Flower Bomb, the Ruby Orchid, and the bottle is so beautiful. What it looks like, isn't that just so pretty? Like having this on your vanity or your dresser, the color is stunning. And the smell definitely reminds me of this color. So I'm gonna spray some on because I really wanna wear this tonight. So if you're familiar with the original Flower Bomb, this one to me is a bit more sexy. I think the original one's a bit more powdery. This one smells divine i think it wears really nicely i'm loving this mm, so nice and then the next package i got two shoes from m jemmy m jemmy is an italian shoe company so all of these shoes are made in italy and the craftsmanship and design of these are really really beautiful so i got two flats the first pair is a white leather sneaker so everything is completely white. These will go with so many outfits and because they're leather, they're definitely gonna last way longer than other kind of white shoes. And you can clean these up. You can clean these much easier than other like cloth white shoes. The style of these are also just so minimal. Like these will go with every kind of outfit. These I'm loving because I know I love a white sneaker and a leather sneaker is gonna last you a really long time and they're so lightweight. So these are beautiful. And the next pair are these super cute flats. Inside is like a shearling. So number one, they are so warm, especially for winter. And they're an easy slip on, slip off. So these are like an amazing shoe if you like need to run and get something really quickly. I love the style of these. The color is in oatmeal. So it's a nice and a nice beige color. So I'm loving these as well. So now I'm actually going to head to the hotel and I will check in with you guys when I get there. All right, successfully. Made it into the Uber. What's up, you guys? Al's here with me, <laughs> of course. <laughs> We're going to the hotel now. Very excited to yes. check this place out. We've seen some stories, and it looks like the views are really insane. So I hope we get like a cool room with the view. Anyway, we are on the way now. have arrived to the hotel. The lobby looks so stunning. Look how cute, gorgeous that is. So we're eating dinner at this bar, Chetty, but let's check into our room. We're open really easily. So we have a room key and there are 42 floors at the hotel. And we are on lucky number 41. <laughs> so first of all, I love how the room number is on the floor of the hallway and we are going to check in. Oh my goodness. All right, so we just checked into the room and 
wow. If you can see that view, it's absolutely incredible. So when you first walk in, there is a bathroom with very nice modern decor. Then you have your bathroom vanity. And it looks like we got some goodies over here. And then we have the bedroom space. Look at the view. Okay, first of all, hold on. Smart TV, amazing. The room itself is pretty spacious. I know New York hotel rooms are quite small, but this does feel really spacious. And you can put your luggage under the bed, which is amazing. I think suitcases take up like the most room in a suitcase. I know the best part, it's over here. But before that, we have a nice little built-in bench. It looks like we have both our outlets by the bed, which is so important when you're charging your phone and stuff. But ah, oh my God. Look at this view. Are you serious? Oh, come over here. This oh view God. is insane. Wow. This is amazing. Look at this. Whoa, we're so high up. Holy crap. Okay, this is amazing. There is literally not one thing blocking your view. That's true. You can see the Hudson River over there. Yep. And then you can see, the, of course, the One World Observatory. You can see the Statue of Liberty. Yes, you can see the Statue yep, of Liberty. Yeah, you can see it. Um, There's TJ Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the Google building. Oh, yeah. The Google building is over, okay. over here. See. Do we see any bridges? I see the Williamsburg Bridge over there. And it's all broken. This is, this is crazy. Oh my wow. God. I'm in awe. I'm in awe of this view. You can see all the traffic down 6th Avenue. Besides, this is just, I can't even believe this view. freshened up a little bit before dinner so we're actually gonna get a little tour of the hotel to see what it looks like like the lobby space we took a sneak peek when we checked in and it's so beautiful and I actually got a little card that tells me more about the design inspiration so it's actually inspired by the number 24 which is the street that we're on the 24 hours a day seven days a week theme is reflected in the contrasting moments of light and dark millwork furnishing and walls and 24 karat gold are referenced through the brass and chrome finishes on light fixtures case goods art and more so this is actually model chelsea's first lifestyle hotel in New York, which has amazing design, fun energy, and yeah, so we're going to check out the lobby space, and then after that, we're going to have dinner on site at the property, so. So this is what I'm wearing for the event, dinner, cocktails in the hotel. I'll try to link something similar. It's very flowy, it's very cute. And then I'm wearing these booty heels. These are from Ray the Label. And then I'm wearing this cute little faux leather jacket from Ali Tahari. Really excited that the spring weather is coming around, but anyway, we are headed off to dinner. Tequila cocktails, which are very delicious, and white wine or red wine. Tonight? Oh, and now we're on wine. I'll I'll do I'll do white actually. White, white, white yes. <laughs> it's very hard sometimes. We don't know what mood you're in. Yeah. Oh. But what is this? Artichoke, right? Isn't that wow, it's like a creamy dish. Or is that a bit the garlic? <laughs> That's it, I guess. Wow, the food keeps coming <laughs> out. We have burrata, burrata, mussels, meatballs. We're not sure, but we're gonna try it. Thanks all for letting it go. No? Wow. It is actually really good. You can't miss her at all. 
And we have more food coming. I thought the pizza earlier was our dinner, but I was definitely wrong. We have more dishes coming out left and right. So a fish, chicken, I forgot what this one was. Or a cat too. And fish, yeah, yeah. Chicken and lamb. So we have a full. So much food. A full no spread. One's going yes. To Tipsy ice cream. All right, so we just came from dinner. We had an amazing like, five course dinner. So good. Um, they did send us some ice cream that has tipsy scoops. So it's like a red velvet martini ice cream, and there's some alcohol in it. So that's amazing. They also did send over some pajamas and an eye mask. And then we have some coffee, some kombucha, some popcorn for a movie night, even some suggestions for movies. And oh, oh let me show you what the view <laughs> looks like. So actually it's raining right now. So we have some raindrops in the sky, but nonetheless, it's still sunny. Good morning, everyone. Oh my gosh, coffee in this view. You cannot get any better than this. Seriously, I still can't get over it. Amazing view. I am going to do a little photo right now. So good morning, everyone. I have my coffee here. Fortunately, I already drank it all, so I'm probably gonna go downstairs to get another one, but we had such a fun night. The food was amazing. The chicken was so great, along with the amazing appetizers. The pizza here is amazing. So now I'm going to get ready for the day. I'm gonna do my makeup really quickly. Um, I'm honestly using a new foundation every day. I'm kind of like in between colors right now. So yesterday I was wearing the Kevin Aquan um, foundation, which looks like the formula is super waxy and like the skin just looks amazing. But today I'm actually going to use Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Minerals, the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. I actually won't like this one a lot. I already prepped my skin, so I'm going to do. I'm gonna go in with some concealer. This one is from L'Oreal, believe it or not, and I actually really like this one. This is the inf Infallible, the Infallible Full Wear concealer um uh, it's so funny because last night i didn't wear any mascara i just was wearing these false lashes from ardell the demi wispies and taking my makeup off last night was so easy because i didn't have to remove any mascara and i feel like that is the one thing i don't like about wearing makeup is that mascara can just take so long to take off that you're using so much makeup remover so i'm really happy that I didn't wear any mascara, just the false lashes. So I think that's gonna be my new trick for like um, like event makeup, just to wear fal false lashes and then not have to worry about taking off mascara after a long night. So that was a little beauty tip that I learned yesterday. And now I'm just gonna finish up this look. It's gonna be a very basic, simple makeup, my usual everyday. Makeup. I do have a video on my everyday makeup if you want to check that out. They use the same products, but for some reason right now, I'm kind of like in between all of these foundations. I love trying new foundations, and sometimes my skin wants something more full coverage. Sometimes I want something a bit more lightweight, more natural. Sometimes I'm, you know, traveling a lot. I'm in between foundation colors when I travel as well. So I do have a collection of foundations that I use, but Bare Minerals is really nice. Who's calling me? What up? All right, I finished my makeup. I got a little distracted with the phone call, but it's actually my friend. She's calling about our high school 10 year reunion, which actually was supposed to be, was it last year? Yes, last year, which was canceled because obvious reason, you know. So I think it may happen this year, which can't believe it. 10 years out of high school. Just uh, like talking about some details. But anyway, my makeup is done. And now we are going to enjoy this room as much as we can. Um, right until we have the checkout. We're going to be here until the last moment. Just because the view. 
I can't believe it. It's just amazing. Have some breakfast here, but we do have a lunch planned at MexiQ, which is a cool Mexican restaurant here in New York. I've actually never been to it and it's literally around the corner. And after that, we'll probably explore New York a bit. We are like in a prime location. I see TJ Maxx calling my name. It's right over there. I really want to go. Or we'll probably just do some random walking around shopping. But yeah, we're having an amazing day. It's sunny. I think it's even quite warm outside. So we are going to enjoy the room for a little bit. Oh my God, it's 11.20. So we have to leave in like 40 minutes. This pea coat that I got in my last vlog at the thrift store, which is by the way, literally around the corner from here, so maybe I'll pop in again. But this was a coast, this is a coast jacket. I got it in my last vlog and I love it. Amazing. I love the long sleeves and just a simple, simple style. Then I'm wearing a Spanx bodysuit in white and my new Levi jeans. These are the classic 501s. That is my outfit. We are now checking out. Unfortunately, this was like a fun staycation in New York, but the day is not over. We're just beginning. And yeah, we're going to head to get our margaritas and Mexican food now. We are walking to the restaurant and we're a bit early, so we're gonna check out the thrift store, see what they have. And it's such a nice day out in New York. Here is the store. Okay. Just went to the thrift store. Wasn't really looking for anything, but the prices in there are so good. Like, you'll find some half off stickers and I was finding shirts for like $8. So I actually got a pair of long striped pants for eight. They're really cool pants to wear like either on vacation or around New York. But now yeah, we are headed to lunch and I'm getting hungry. We arrived at the restaurant, Mexico. They have different locations, and it looks like they have a happy hour Monday through Friday from four to seven. Eight dollar margaritas, eight dollar wine by the glass. So we. at the menu there are a lot of amazing like tacos on here so we're definitely gonna get some of those and maybe, maybe we'll start the day with the margarita yeah yeah all right Al cheers, cheers. wow this glass is really heavy <laughs> that looks delicious mm. wow. we have some we have a charred jalapeno guacamole so we have our three tacos that just came out and everything looks so good they're all very unique as well, so we're going to dig into this. It's good. It's really good. And we cannot resist ourselves with some dessert. It's a brownie with some vanilla ice cream. So good. So I just got back home from lunch and it was really, really good. Mexicu has a few locations in New York. It's kind of like a casual Mexican restaurant. The tacos are really unique, it's delicious. And we also had a spicy mezcal margarita, love those. So I highly recommend checking out Mexicu if you're looking for a casual Mexican restaurant while you are in New York. And I wanted to share with you what I got at the thrift store. Hands that I got at the thrift store. <laughs> Sorry for the mess behind me. Um, so these were ticketed for $16.50 and then they were an additional 50% off. So I think that's $7.50. They came out to be like $8.00. They're just like a really fun trouser high-waisted pant. I like how this like cinches in the waist and there are pockets, so pant for like summer. So I'm loving these. Happy about the 50% off. I think they look really good. They are a white and olive color, so super cool. It is Friday. I feel like the staycation made me feel like it was the weekend already. So I basically treated today like a weekend. So now I'm actually headed to El Senio's house so we can assemble some furniture, which I'm 
I love assembling furniture. It's like a puzzle that you get to do. Some people don't like assembling like furniture that you have to build, but I personally find it very relaxing and really fun because you get to see it from start to finish. So going to do that and hang out for a bit. So we have started assembling the nightstand. This is actually nightstand number two. This was actually not as bad as I thought it was. It's pretty simple actually to put together. So I'm really happy about that. But the other one is assembled and it looks so good. So I'm gonna tackle this one and then have two for the final result. This is the final result. Looks so good. These are from Target and they were very, very affordable. If you can get them in stock, they have been in and out of stock basically all week, but I'm loving how they turned out and I'm just so excited with them. Happy Saturday. We are just taking a little walk in the neighborhood. There was like two random snowstorms called a snow squall, which I've never heard of that phrase before. So we are gonna go to TJ Maxx. I didn't get to go yesterday but there's one around here so we're gonna check out some of their home stuff and then we're gonna go to whole foods get some food get some food thinking of making some risotto tonight actually he's gonna do it because i don't know how to do it make a good risotto <laughs> i'll leave it to him so anyway i'm gonna end the vlog here let me know if you have any questions and i will see you next week